Hi, I'm Gary Boss, the Marketing Director for Audio Technic, and I'm here at Sonic Electronics talking about the difference between dynamic microphones and condenser microphones. Now, although they both take energy and convert it into electrical energy, so the sound of your voice or your instrument into electrical energy, the way they do it makes them sound very, very different and have different applications. In a nutshell, dynamic microphones tend to be much more durable. They handle ridiculous amounts of SPL, which is sound pressure level. And they also have a little bit of high frequency attenuation, meaning they don't tend to translate the high frequencies as well. Also, things called transients, which are real fast movements, they don't tend to pick up as well. And they tend to be a little less sensitive. Now, these kind of sound like negatives, but they actually make them really good for certain things. High SPL instruments would be stuff like horns and drums and snare drum and kick drum and guitar cabinets, things of that nature. Dynamic microphones work great for. Now condenser microphones, as we learned before, have a much lighter diaphragm. Now this allows them to have extended frequency response. Um, they do take a little bit more care than a dynamic microphone, but they excel in studio environments. They're typically used on acoustic instruments and instruments where articulation is key, such as hi-hat and ride cymbals. So hopefully this uh, helps you take a little bit of a sneak peek between what the difference between dynamics and condensers are. But again, in any uh, situation, you use your ear. Uh, Audio Technica, we can just, what I say, make crayons in a crayon box in a bunch of different colors and you decide which crayon you want to paint your picture with as the artist. So I hope this helped. Thanks a lot for watching.